Hey all, I hope you all are doing great. If you are from scientific community, then you may correlate with me. We all want great high quality scientific figures and illustration for multiple purpose like for report writing, thesis, publication, grant submission and all. So here in this session, we will be exploring a very wonderful tool which is BioRender for this purpose. I will be giving you a tutorial and overview. So for beginner and student, this will be a quite useful video. So without any delay, let's get started. Having said that we require scientific figures and illustration at various stages. This means whether you are student, faculty, scientist or maybe industry professional at different stages we all require these kind of figures and illustrations. I have already made a video where I have shown you and guided you how we can create these kind of scientific figures and illustration. Who needs this? What are the freely available uh, tools in the market and I might have shown you 10 or 12 uh, freely available tool there and some smart tips and uh, tricks to make these kind of figure and illustration especially for your publication purpose. So do check out that video if you have missed watching that because there I have shown you how we have created by using hand painting and also by PowerPoint, bio renders and those figures we have already published in renowned journals like Scientific Report, BBRC, RNA Biology, PLOS One. So I will be putting the description of that uh, video in the description section. So do check out that video also. And then let's start with the bio render part. So this is the bio render page. You can come to this page by using the URL and do the signups in the initial stages uh, and for educational purpose it's free and for other professional work also the costs are very minimal so you can try for paid version also and free version also just come to this page and do check out the features here. So this is the bio render page you do the sign up. Uh, maybe free or paid depending on your needs use this bio render can come to this page and you will find a multiple features over here and you can scroll this page and you will get different features and applications here if you will do the your sign up the page will look like this I have already uh, like used this page so you can see my folders which I have already worked for my publication purpose. So for from history you can also scroll your pages and there are different templates depending on your signaling and other features which you wanted to perform like pathway, signaling, cell biology related things. So different features both for figure creation and for poster purpose you will get from here. So once you will come to this page you will get a page like this and maybe new work or maybe customized work or maybe addition or modification of your previous work all these tasks you may perform from this bio render as i already said when you will come to this page and scroll and you will like work on this you will find thousands almost like 40,000 in different icons and uh, figures and pictures for your different purpose. So you may explore all those things and de depending on your needs you can also drag and drop and play and you can modify all these figures. The good thing is that the customization and modification is very easy and if you want to play with the customization of the icons depending on your the publication or the other requirement you can the you can easily do the customizations also. Once you will do your sign up and open the folders especially the new folder and new work then the canvas will look like this. The size setting depending on your needs, whether you are working on publications, report writing, figures or poster, you can set the size from here. The other features like different icons, brushes, color, template, you may get it from here. And then if you will go to the icon section, you will find cell type, protein, nucleic acid, not only the biomolecules and cell biology and biological stuff, but other than that, if you suppose working in lab, chemistry, medicinal equipments and all these things. So all these icons also 
you can get it from these main subsections and if you will click there you will find different others figures also related to that, that section so in my uh, reviews also related to sensor iot's and medic medicinal equipment and diagnostic we have used all different kind of subsections also like medicinal equipments and all these things for our publication purpose apart from my main things related to cancer virus and nucleic acid so you may explore these things and then once you have done with your final figures compilation here you can export your files the final figures either in pdb and different format also and if you want to present these things that features are also present here so let's do one demo over here i will be uh, taking you to the bio render site and let's explore these things so you can get much uh, deeper understanding about these tools and it will help you to use this uh, application also so let's start with the demo so this is a bio render page you can come to this uh, tool by using the url which i have given you for beginner participant i would suggest as it is a uh, free for educational purpose try for that do the sign up first and then try to explore because here a lot of different features are available and lot of different figures related to your cell biology bacterial things uh, i mean microbiology biotechnology related things everything is present here so depending on your needs what you want to create different features are available here so if you are planning to create a cell signal and related things or biology infection cycles related things different figures and sections you can create by using these things so come to this page and explore different sections first and uh, try to explore and try to create by using these things so let's explore this page. so once you will uh, sign up and come to this app and in this page you will find a lot of features you can like open your figure whatever figures whatever size you wanted to make for like publications or for your thesis and report so you can change the canvas size also from here so you can customize the sizes also and then you have different features like uh, icons for your different cell type if you want to make like if you want to use epithelial cell or maybe uh, mitosis meiosis cell biology or plant cell if you are using so you just have to just click over there and depending on your need what kind of project you are handling you just have to drag the figures here and if you want to play with the zoom the colors all these things you can play over here if you want to provide a figure legends and descriptions about your figures that also you can play with that if you want to change the color font these features are also available here so accordingly you can utilize these icons dip, different type of like uh, i have shown you for plant cells maybe your project require immunological projects related things then you can get immunological cell line viruses bacteria from here and depending on that if you want to play with the colors and all these things so those can also be feasible from here so if suppose i want to make these things in different color so i can play with that also and similarly if you want to get the pdb files of these figures the description changes the size changes all these things you can play the work if you want to make like if you are using different figures and multiple figures then if you want uh, with grid and without grid that is also present here especially if you are making your uh, publication quality things and also for your postal things it is good that you make your figure first in the grid and then you remove the grid so use these things and not only your like protein nucleic acid cells if you are using some instruments uh, 
or some food uh, technology, environmental technology related things. So different icons are also present here. So if suppose you are working in food technology, food biotechnology, so other features and other icons are also present here. So for diverse purpose, you can utilize things and also for your graph uh, generation and pathways related to cell signal related things are here. So using these things, you can make your own pathways and if you are using some drugs and if you want to show the effect of some inhibitors so these things you can make from here okay and the final files you can save and you can convert the file for formats also so try to come to this page and explore these things and try to use bio render for your project and application purpose also I hope you have found the tutorial useful and you are going to use BioRender for your scientific work. If you have liked the session, I request you to like and subscribe the channel and share these video tutorial among your scientific endeavors and student also and do check out my previous videos related to scientific work. Thank you so much.